Hey, Madison, I'm going to just go ahead and run a quick check for outliers for you. And so we're going to be looking at chase rate. And as you recall, some of those guys put down like a million and everything. So anything over 100, we deleted right off the bat. So that was our first getting rid of outliers thing. But now we're going to do a check on all of your main continuous variables by going to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Descriptives again. And we want Chase Rate and then Extroversion, Agreeableness, Consciousness, Neuroticism, and Openness in there. And see this little box right here? Save as standardized variables. What that's going to do is it's going to create new variables for every one of these. That is the z-score of these variables. It standardizes the, them all. So basically, we're going to be looking for any number that's greater than 1.96 or less than negative 1.96. So let's take a look. Let's see what happens. And we should go back to this one. We go back to data view, and it should be the far ones on the right. And here they are right here. So if it starts with the letter Z, that means it's been standardized. And so we're looking for, remember, anything basically greater than 2 or less than negative 2. So what we do is we right-click and we put them in descending order. So you got one, one minor tiny one, just barely over 1.96. We're talking about, you know, 1 one hundredth. So I would say you got one minor outlier and chase rates and then write it down right in parentheses z equals 0.206 and just close parentheses leave it like that we got to check the bottom numbers too i don't think there's any down here at the bottom oh your sample size is so freaking big oh my goodness gracious Ooh. oh i take it back you got a lot of outliers on the bottom here so remember 1.96 is the cutoff so, from 2467 on down, these are all outliers. Let's see, 2467. Shoot. You got a lot of outliers down there. Um, you got about 150 outliers that are too low. So, what I... Okay. You have some options. You could leave them in there or you could delete them. Because even though they're outliers, they're still part of the data set. So that's one section there. I'm going to leave that up to you. So now let's look at ex extroversion. So to recap, Chase has one upper outlier, but about 150 lower out or outliers. So you might want to probably do something about that. And then here we go with extroversion. Extroversion, yeah, you got a... So officially it's 1.96... So you got 30 above 1.96. And let's go down to the bottom and see what you got on the bottom here. Give me down there. there you. And again, man, you got a crap load of outliers. What happened here? And then from this guy, 25, 24. On down are all outliers. So you do got a bunch of outliers here. And let's look for agreeableness. And again, anything over 1.96. And okay, so you got 91 that are above. And... So 1.96. So 24, 54 on down are all low outliers. Again, it doesn't matter if they're high or low. They are still outliers. Let's look for consciousness. And... So 94 too high. And that one, 2481 on down, you got too many. Again, you have the option. You don't have to delete them. You could just say, yeah, there was a, you know, a shitload of um, outliers in all the variables. 
but they tended to be balanced, right? Just as many on the bottom as there were on the top. You know, it's not 100% true, but it's not that far away. Plus, you got no giant ones, right? You could live with outliers up to three. I mean, some teachers will allow that. Um, but, you know, if you got something like a 10 in there, that's obvious. You got to get rid of them. So, but let's check uh, neuroticism next. And again, anything over 1.96. So, yep, you got 42 that are too high. And... All right, so starting at 24.92 on down. Those are too low. And then last but not least, their openness. You got... Uh, where's my 196? Get in there, you. So this one, guys. So you got 40. Two high outliers on openness. And how many you got here? You got... Uh, 25, 12, and below. Those are all outliers, too. So, yeah. Man, I never would have realized it, but you got a ton of outliers, ton of outliers. Now, my bet is if you go through and delete all these, um, and you still run the test, that the test will be the same. You're still going to get the exact same results. They're, they're, they'll be either significant or not significant, regardless if you do away with the outliers or not. For the simple fact is, none of these are serious outliers. Your, high, your highest outlier is... Is like a, a standard deviation, I'm sorry, a, a z-score of like 3.5 or something. And that's not critical. Some books, in, some books don't even say it's an outlier until it's over 3, where we use 2 down here in San Diego. But, but that's it. I hope it helps. MGZ, out.